Hi there, this is just a quick video to talk about a new iPhone app that's just hit the App Store called Real London Tube. As you can see it traces the London Underground map over the top of Google Maps to give you a much better perspective of how the London Underground really fits together and how close stations and lines really are to each other. Now if we have a look at a conventional tube map on the TFL website, in this example we're going to be taking a journey from Paddington to Tottenham Court Road. So we've really got two options. We can go two stops along the circle line or district line and six stops along the central line or we can go five stops along the Bakerloo line and one stop along the central line. Both of these require to change lines and wait for two different trains. Now let's look at this journey on the real London tube. So I'm just going to highlight Paddington and highlight Tottenham Court Road. And you can do a search for these stations if you don't know where they where they are. So as you can see, Tottenham Court Road is pretty much directly east of Paddington, not southeast, as the conventional map makes out. Um, if you were to go along the Circle Line route, then you have to go way out west to Nottingham Gate before coming back east to uh, to reach Tottenham Court Road. And by the time you've gone four stops and taken a change and reached Lancaster Gate, you really haven't travelled very far at all. Uh, if you were to go along the Bakerloo line, you have to go north before coming back in south and changing at Oxford Circus. So what about a third option? How about a walk from Paddington to Lancaster Gate? And we can have a look at how, at how close stations are in relation to each other by looking at station details. And as you can see, Lancaster Gate is actually only 0.28 miles from Paddington, which really isn't very far at all. And with this app, you can also see how long it takes to walk from Paddington to Lancaster Gate. Uh, but to keep this video as short as possible, I'll tell you that Google Maps suggests it's 8 minutes, although I walked it the other day in just over 6. Now, if we were to walk to Lancaster Gate, as you can see, we then only actually have to walk uh, to travel 4 stops along the Central Line, and we don't actually have to change trains at all. Now I think a short walk and then four stops along, along the tube is much more efficient than eight stops or six stops and having to wait to change trains, especially on a hot, sticky day. Now let's see where Lancaster Gate is on a traditional tube map. And here it is. Now as you can see, the traditional tube map isn't particularly representative of actual geography in certain situations. So... This is just one example of where the real London Tube provides a much better perspective of how the tube actually fits together. So, what are you waiting for? Visit iTunes on your computer or the App Store on your iPhone or iPod Touch and search for Real London Tube to enjoy a much more efficient use of the London Underground system.